Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these delicious Tres Leches Cupcakes. Excuse the bad Photoshop, but these are all the ingredients, including what is needed for the cake mix. Today I will be using this cake mix. I will be substituting the water for milk. I will be using oil, but you can use butter, three egg whites, or three whole eggs. Now that I'm done mixing all of the wet ingredients first, I'm going to go ahead and add my cake mix. I like to do it in sections just because it makes it easier for me since I am doing it by hand. Now I am preheating my oven as instructed on the cake box. My oven might look a bit different since it is in Celsius. During this time, we will start adding our mixture into the cupcake pan. Okay, so my cupcakes are ready to go in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven for around 14 to 19 minutes, but make sure to keep an eye on them. came out so they are still very hot we will need to wait for around 30 minutes till these cool down so I have the muffins here cooling I'm going to start preparing the milk that is going to be going inside of them so we're gonna go ahead and get our evaporated milk our condensed milk our regular milk cinnamon for a very important step we will have to remove the top of the muffin so this shiny part just try to take as much as you can off in order for the liquid to be able to soak up evenly or else if you don't remove it it's not gonna be able to soak up as well because this coat is what's stopping it so as you can see here i just cut up it doesn't have to be perfect i know there's some holes already but with the fork just go ahead and make a couple of holes gently so it doesn't fall apart these leftover muffin tops i enjoy with some tea however you can use them in different ways now it's time to add in our tres leches mixture i try to do it a little bit slow the holes in the cupcakes are a big help because they soak up right away it's easier if you also have a syringe. I'll try to put a picture of it right here. If you're not happy, 
happy with how wet they are, you can always go back and add some more milk. Okay, so now I have my cupcakes here soaking. I'm gonna place them now in the fridge until they soak up the milk good. Or you can also place these in the fridge overnight, which personally I enjoy better. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the fridge. So I did get left over with some of the condensed milk mixture in here. Um, if you have a lot, for example, I have quite a bit, especially for myself. I'm going to go ahead and just make this into some horchata with, you know, mix some rice and water in there. Put it over ice. So now it's time to do the heavy cream, which is the toppings for our Tres Leches cupcakes. I currently don't have a German mixer with the plug. So I'm going to go ahead and do this in a mason jar, but if you have a mixer that's going to be much easier for you to do, we're going to go ahead and use this whole, I think 100 grams, 250 grams of heavy cream. Put my sugar inside the mason jar. These next steps are optional, but I think it adds a lot of good flavor to it, almost like an horchata um, whipped cream. We're gonna add around a teaspoon of vanilla, and then I'm going to put some cinnamon. I love cinnamon, so however much you think you will like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that much. Then we're gonna go ahead and close it. And then you're just gonna shake this. Make sure not to turn it into butter. I accidentally made that mistake more than once. But make sure it's closed all the way. And now you're just going to mix it until it doesn't sound like a lot of liquid. Open it maybe every like 30 seconds to make sure that you're not over mixing it it takes much longer than it would if i <laughs> probably went and unpacked my mixer and plugged it in with one of the transformers it's not making as much of that liquid noise so now we're gonna go ahead and take a peek So there we go. I think this is done. We're gonna go ahead. You can try it. This is how I like mine to come out. Tastes so good. Especially with that cinnamon in there, it really adds a lot of flavor. So I have my cream done. For the cupcakes, I'm going to let them sit for a little bit longer and then I'm going to go ahead and start decorating them. Okay, so here is the final result. Remember, if you like videos like this, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. Now we're going to go ahead and try these out. Not even going to lie, this is my second one. So good. all for this video if you liked it make sure to give it a like and subscribe